platelet count does not lead to too much of complications rather the low blood pressure in dengue is more dangerous than anything else hi friends uh, i am dr vivek sharma working as senior consultant in the department of internal medicine at max hospital shalimar bag today we are going to talk about dengue fever and its implications on health uh, what is dengue fever dengue fever is a, a fever that is caused by biting of a mosquito and uh, is uh, uh, prevalent during monsoon season because this mosquito breeds in uh, the monsoon season uh, so dengue fever can come to you as just any kind of fever called dengue fever or it can have dengue fever with hemorrhagic complications and bleeding tendencies and a very severe form of dengue fever is dengue shock syndrome where the blood pressure of the patient also falls so uh, what can you uh, do to identify these three things that is dengue fever dengue hemorrhagic fever with bleeding tendencies and dengue shock syndrome in case the patient is having dengue fever you will just have a simple fever just like a, any any other fever without any bleeding it will come for 3 to 4 days and go and you may not be even too much worried about it it and dispose it off just like any other fever in case you have bleeding tendencies you may have bleeding spots over the body or bleeding from any site and you may get many red flag signs also which are uh, bleeding from any site having dizziness having low blood pressure or any change in the urine output or symptoms of suggestive of organ failure in such cases you have to approach the doctor and you must be aware of these red flag signs and you must know that when to approach the doctor and get hospitalized dengue shock syndrome is the severe most severe form of dengue fever where the bp of the patient falls and leads to organ failure where he must be hospitalized so in the end i would like to tell you the bottom line that dengue fever is not just about let low platelet counts most of the people think that low platelet count uh, leads to uh, death of the person there is no such risk unless the the platelet count is less than 10000 or 5000 or there is spontaneous bleeding from any site usually if the platelet counts are low we give or replace the platelets uh, from outside so this is not a worry the most dangerous red flag sign of dengue fever is the dengue shock syndrome where you must be able to identify that your bp is going low you must not allow the blood pressure to go low below a critical limit and because that leads to organ failure subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates